People anxious to return to their homes in Los Alamos will have to wait longer. Earlier this week, the police chief hinted that people may be able to return home by the end of the week. But today, he said that won't be happening. And it's not just residents dying to get back. News 13's Katie Kim is live in Los Alamos. Jess, when the town was evacuated Monday, everything closed down. That's a lot of shops going four days now with no business. Now, many people who own shops in Los Alamos came to the town hall meeting this afternoon with those concerns. We spoke with one small business owner who owns an auto repair shop in town. He said the same thing happened to him 11 years ago with the Cerro Grande fire. His business was closed for 14 days, and he says it was very difficult for him to bounce back. He estimates he's losing up to $3,000 a day by not being open for business. When you have a business, it depends on everyday income to pay all your bills and stuff. It's very frustrating, but I want the town to be safe too. Now, things haven't changed much since Monday. Almost everything is still closed. People who can work from home are still working just out of the places where they are temporarily staying. We talked with one woman who works for the Los Alamos School District, and she says it's been a challenge. Today was the last day of our fiscal year, and there were a lot of things we couldn't quite do because the fiscal year closeout is really a big thing, and we're not in our offices, and so it's, it's really minimal what we can do, but we're doing what we can. Now, this is a live picture of why people can't return home. At this time yesterday, these ridges were pretty clear, but with a slight shift in the winds, smoke is again blanketing the town. Now, homes in Los Alamos are not being threatened at this time, but officials want to make absolutely sure before letting anyone back in. Back to you. All right, thank you, Katie. County officials said today they will let emergency county officials back in first before everyone else gets the all clear. That's to make sure the town is able to provide services to residents. And as much of those families want to return home, the police chief is asking them to stay away until they are let back in. I want to be very clear. Folks right now are hurting us. They're trying to come back. People are hearing rumors. The, the information is spreading from other sources other than Los Alamos County. Los Alamos County called the evacuation, and Los Alamos County will be the ones that repeal the evacuation.